Take a little motion, one, two, three. Take a little motion, four, five, six. Take a little motion, seven, eight, nine. And the ten will follow them. How are you, my little angels? Are you okay? I am fine and I hope you're fine. It's a very, very, very bright day. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow, numbers. It's very interesting that you did these numbers in grade one and someone is asking, teacher, why are you still doing these numbers again in grade two? I want you to get these numbers clearly and very nice so that when someone tells you, write these numbers in words and in figures, you can do it so well and perfectly. Okay? Last lesson. Who can remind me what you talked about in last lessons? Teacher, we were reading and writing numbers 1 to 5 in words. Very good. And today, we just want to do the numbers 1 to 10, which means you've already done numbers 1 to 5. So I only need which numbers there? Which numbers am I? Do I want people to do there? It's only number 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Very good. Now, Oscar, please remind us how we did numbers 1. Teacher, you write the figure 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, each one of you to spell out the name. Yes, starting with Janet. Janet, we continue. O N E. Very good. Janet says O N E. Wow, Johnny. Next. T W O. Very good. Yes, Oscar. T H R E E. How do you call this sound in English? It's called double sound E. So you say double E. Wow. Next. Janet's friend. For F O U R. And Johnny's friend. F I R. V, E. Very good. So we were able to do it very well and perfectly. Did you do the homework that I gave you? Were you able to match? Teacher, it was very easy. Easy peasy. Very good. Now we now continue. Which numbers are we talking about today? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow. Who can tell me? We said 6 like a uh, 6 like a spoon. What about seven? Seven like a walking stick. Who walks with a stick? Teacher old people. Very good. What about eight? Eight. Someone is still asking. Teacher, did you teach? I taught you how eight looks like. How does eight look like? Eight looks like a nose. And number nine, nine is a head and a neck. What about ten? Ten is a stick and a ball. So how do we write number six in words? Do you remember the three letter words you learned in PP2? We talked about the E sound words and we had the word s, e, x, s, e, x. Then the A sound words, A sound words, what we had? Se, ve, m, se, ve, Hmm. Then the eight. Eight is a sight word. And most of you will always ask, teacher, how am I supposed to write this word? This sound in English is called eight. Eight. So the word is eight. Then we have nine. And lastly, we have t. Eh? Hmm. Very good. So if someone gives you homework today and tells you, Write these words well. You jumbled out the letters, jumble up the letters, then you, you are told, write well. Let's see if you'll be able to write the words well. We have Have you seen my numbers have also been jumbled up? They're not in any order. So I've been told to jumble out these words like this. I come up with a word. Are we together? 
Wow. Someone to write these words correctly. Someone to write these words correctly. When you just look at the figure, the figure here is eight. You will be able to write the word eight nicely because the figure already tells you which word are you supposed to write there. And we also did it in our class using our flashcards. Then the second one, the second one, yes, Oscar, the second one is a six, which is very easy. So the remaining three, you're going to do it as homework at home with the help of your gardens. Then when you come home, when you reach home, I want people to try and use the plasticine to model these figures. You model the figure and the word. You model the figure and the word. And probably you can take a photo and send them to me so that I can see who did the best modeling using a play doh or you can use a carton box to cut out the figures by tracing and cutting we did tracing and cutting in grade one we did them in pp2 so it will come very very easy up to there any question any problem not really so when we we continue the next lesson and we look at maybe numbers 1 to 15 or 1 to 20, depending on what we're supposed to learn tomorrow. But up to there, is there any problem? No question. I wish you well and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.